Stereo AM 610 KCSR remembers our veterans this Memorial Day by recalling the story of one local hero. Listener discretion may be advised. Today in Alliance, there's a ceremony taking place on the east side of town. They are renaming County Road 57 to Ronald Coker Lane to honor Ronald L. Coker, an Alliance native and Vietnam vet. That probably doesn't mean much to you, though. All it really means is you're going to tell people to make a right on Coker instead of 57. Well, you should think twice about Coker Lane. There have been far less courageous men who have done far less for the citizens of this country who still have streets named after them. Ron Coker served as a Marine in the late 60s and fought alongside his brothers in the 3rd Squad in Vietnam. Ron was known as a good point man, a guy who knew how to stay alive. In Vietnam, some days were quiet, and some days were, well, not. On March 24, 1969, it was not quiet. After several days of dodging mortar shells, the squad commander told his boys, Saddle up, we're going to get them today. And that was a little edited for language. It did not take the 3rd Squad long to come across the enemy, firing AKs in their direction. The 3rd Squad gunners ran to the front and sent fire back. That sent the enemy running. So the 3rd Squad made chase. They found themselves on a rock with their enemy just below in a cave. I'll let the words of a member of the 3rd Squad tell you exactly what happened that day. And a little word of warning, these words are of a Marine in Vietnam. So it may be offensive to some listeners. We're in a hurry to catch the gooks. Myself and Tim Barrett and Warren Vanneman jump up on the rock trying to catch the gooks before they get to the creek. Crack, crack. AK's just below us. They're in a cave under the big rock and there's no way to get to them. I look below me and Playford is down. The gooks waited until he was right in front of the cave and they cut him down. Ron Coker's very excited and he's shouting to Playford, assuring that he would get him out of there. He gets to Playford, grabs him, and was trying to pull him back from harm's way. Everyone's shouting to him, trying to help, but there's no way to get to him. The gooks are steady firing at him. Coker never stops. He's determined to get Playford out of there. The gooks start throwing the chai cops, grenades they used at the time, and one landed right by Coker and Playford. I screamed, chai cop! Coker grabbed it with both hands and tried to throw it back under the rock in the cave where the gooks were. Time ran out. Blew Coker's hands off at the wrist. It didn't stop him, though. He took his stubs and ran them into Playford's cartridge belt, still dragging him. Everyone started to throw their helmets and flak jackets down into the scene, attempting to shield the two a little. Another chai comp went off. It opened up Coker's chest and caused extensive facial damage. Still, Coker would not give up. He was bound and determined to get Playford out of there. And he did, finally withdrawing far enough for some of the squad to get both of them out of the draw. Doc Valencia worked on both Playford and Coker, but it was futile. He could not save them. I saw a lot of brave acts in Vietnam. Saw a lot of people die for their country. This was the bravest act I had witnessed. witnessed. J.D. Murphy. U.S. Marine Corps, Company M, 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marine Division. Needless to say, for his actions that day, Ron Coker received the Congressional Medal of Honor, the highest military decoration awarded by the United States government. This is just one story of hundreds, if not thousands, that happened, not only in Vietnam, but in every war in which the U.S. was involved. We use this Memorial Day to remember Ronald L. Coker, along with everyone else who serves this country with bravery and unselfish devotion. Next time you drive out to the Alliance Airport or go golfing at Skyview and turn on to Coker Lane, remember this story, and remember what the street sign stands for. Say a little prayer and enjoy the freedom that was paid for by Coker and the other brave men and women of the United States military.